What's going on guys? Berg's back here for another one. Smoky Mountain Wintergreen today. Before we go any further, let's take a look at the can presentation. black plastic can, sticker on the front, green, dark green background, Smoky Mountain, America's original, great taste, tobacco free. Uh, branding on the side, basically the same deal as the others. Um, manufactured by Smoky Mountain Chew Incorporated, Sandy Hook, Connecticut, ingredients list, phone number, URL, yada yada. Uh, Best of use by date on can. This one happens to be August 28th, 2018. Also, unfortunately, expired. Um, we'll see how it holds up. I am running through the series, essentially. Um, after this, I will have to find citrus and the mint pouches, and that should complete Smoky Mountain to the best of my ability, or my knowledge. Um... Well, I don't necessarily remember this scent. I did have this before, probably in about 2013 or 14 or something. Um, cut looks similar to the straight, really. Pretty mild scent. Um, doesn't smell too sweet, but it does smell a little sweeter than some winter greens but it's kind of hard for me to play. So, the true test will be coming up in a minute. Um, not, for whatever reason, doesn't seem to be pinching as quite as good. So, if you haven't seen the other ones, Price on Smoky Mountain can be anywhere from, say, $2.99 to four something. Um, but that's so it's not really outrageous as far as herbal snuffs go. Some some out there can be quite quite a bit more, to be honest. Um, it is also the uh, most available herbal snuff that's on the market. You can find it even in Walmart and the majority of tobacco shops are going to carry this if they carry any. Um, the cut on the stuff is not the same as dip. It's, I don't know how exactly to describe it. It's kind of stringy almost, but not, not in like a stoker's way. But um, there's a little leftover on my thumb there. And as you can see, it's a little... It's a little more, it's like really slim and straight, fine strands almost, uh, so a little bit different. Um, the pinchability, at first there I was having a little trouble getting a, a nice pinch, but for, all of these seem to stay formed fairly well, which I don't necessarily remember in the past, um, but they are all staying pretty well formed, so I'm pleasantly surprised about that um they do uh, they do seem to there there are some floaters though they there, there are um but i seem to remember it drifting all over the place when i had this the first time so who knows bad can whatever um so the uh the taste on this stuff um, I actually paused it there and let it sit for a little because I was trying to come up with something, but, um, it's actually, it's actually not bad. It's pretty, it's sweeter than I expected it to be. Um, it probably is in the neighborhood of, say, Copenhagen to an extent, maybe not quite as sweet, um, but it is actually, it is pretty sweet. It's up there. It doesn't, it doesn't taste like Grizzly, but, um, 
it, it also, I don't know, it, for whatever reason, it's appealing to me uh, today anyway. I would, I would compare it. I guess I would compare it to Copenhagen. It's not quite as sweet or as flavorful as Copenhagen, but it's kind of going in that direction, or maybe a watered down Copenhagen wintergreen. Um, I am I am surprised, considering the pouches tasted like menthol. I was expecting the same out of the wintergreen snuff version. However, it's actually not bad. So. This this probably is the one to try if you're gonna try any of these. Uh, so far, I, yeah, it's out of date. Maybe an in, hopefully an in date one doesn't taste like menthol. But um, I right now I am enjoying this out of out of the three that I just did. I'm enjoying the wintergreen by far uh, the most. So um, that being said. I would rate this probably at a 7 out of 10, actually. Uh, not bad. It, it still could be improved. It still, you know, has its drawbacks. But it, it is better than most of the rest of the line, I guess I would say. So, yeah, it, it would definitely be worth a shot if you were going to try any. Now, like I said, this is a few months expired. I don't know if the flavor's faded, and it's faded to a point where it actually tastes good, because remember I had the uh, the pouch form, which was dated like a year and a half ahead of when I bought it, and the flavor was super strong. So I don't know if, I don't know how long these sit on the shelves, is what I'm getting at. Like, when they come out of the factory, what's the date on them? Is it, is it going to be... Um, six months to a year like dip or is it or since their pouches was over a year i mean i don't know so it's hard to say that's why i don't really care to review expired things if i you know if i have the chance not to but sometimes you know you don't realize it until you come home and 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 that's and that's that so anyway as it sits it is not too bad i would say uh, before we close, shout outs, Suit and Tie, Winnington, uh, Tune to Trey, uh, Dirty Pat Walsh, Wayside Lee 83. Um, yeah, that's about, that about does it for this one. Uh, we'll be back to real dip for a little bit, I think. Um, if you enjoyed the video, leave it a like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you next time. Take care.